What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set the valve clearance on a 911 engine. You need three tools, a flathead screwdriver, a 13 millimeter wrench, and a valve clearance tool uh, sold by Pelican. Goofy little shape, you'll see why in a second. So what you first want to do is set the engine to top dead center. There should be a little mark on your crank pulley that says Z1. You can also check that your rotor is set to line up with the little notch on the distributor here. Another way to check is just to wiggle both of these rocker arms. If they both have a little bit of play and you can see that that lobe of the cam is not really engaging that rocker, that, it, this, that means that both of these valves are closed. So this is that top dead center. We're gonna start with cylinder number one here. And what we're gonna do is loosen both the intake and the exhaust. All right, so I've loosened the, the lock nuts on both the intake and the exhaust. What I want to do is I'm going to unscrew the elephant foot right here and then I'm going to take this valve adjustment tool and I'm going to try to jam it in between the top of the valve and the rocker arm. And what I want to do is tighten this until I can just barely pull this out. I want to just feel a little bit of drag on it. Then you want to hold the screwdriver steady and then just lock this nut against the rocker. Now it looks like it tightened it a little bit. It's a little too tight. I'm going to have to try it again. All right, so the valves are set for cylinder number one. What you wanna do is turn the, the crank pulley 120 degrees. It's still lined up on Z1, so we're gonna go to this one right here. All right, that's lined up um, 120 degrees clockwise from Z1, so now cylinder number six should be free. Should be no tension on those valves. We're gonna do that one next. All right, that about covers the uh, valve clearance. I'm gonna to have to do this again once the car is on the road. 500 miles after you put it together, you have to pull the valve covers again and check it again. So I'm sure it'll be way more annoying when it's in the car, but it's when it's out of the car, it's pretty much a snap. So. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Next couple videos, I'm gonna show you how to install these oil return tubes and uh, install the clutch and pressure plate and flywheel and stuff. So, got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. My tool is disintegrating. This bolt is a little fucked up. Well.